right, here we are on day 37 of our reading challenge. It's reading the Bible every day for 40 days to learn about prayer. And on day 37 through the end of the challenge, we would like to think about things that you should always pray for. These are things that can be on every prayer list that can be a part of every prayer forever. The first thing we want to look at is James 1, 5, which says, Now if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. Everybody has something they want to know. And that's why Google is used all the time. YouTube is there all the time because we need to know things. And those websites can yield a lot of information, no question. But what we have to remember is that they are limited because information is not wisdom. Wisdom is something else. Wisdom actually begins with knowing that God is God. We call that the fear of the Lord. It's the beginning of wisdom. So it's dangerous to try to seek wisdom outside of God. That happened in the Garden of Eden. Eve took the advice of Satan, and she ate the fruit because as she looked at it, she thought, oh, this will make me wise. Well, the only place, the only good place to find wisdom is, of course, with God. But this verse is also full of great news because God is happy to give us wisdom whenever we ask. So it is given freely. It's given without reservation. He is full of wisdom, and he loves to give it, and he loves to be asked. So this is a prayer we need to pray often. None of us has enough wisdom, and unless we stay plugged into God as our source of wisdom, we're going to tend to drift towards seeking wisdom from other places and other men, other people. We will start to lean on our own understanding, and that's no good. All of these other sources are like virus-ridden websites. Then we click on it, and it causes great damage. So instead, remember always to ask God for wisdom. He'll give it to you, and you can trust Him. Be blessed. Mm-hmm.